Thank you, John. Today, I'm here in Brixton celebrating Jamaican Independence Day. As you all know, on the 6th of August, 1962, the Jamaican people voted by referendum to win independence from Britain. Since then, Jamaicans around the world have celebrated this day to honor the island history and culture. In 1948, the British Nationality Act was promulgated. It gave everyone who was a British subject to the right to settle and work in the UK. This led many ambitions ambitious Jamaicans to leave their home country and travel to London aboard the Empire Windrush. On this special day, we will be interviewing Toya Fitzhenley, a descendant of the Windrush generation. Hello. Oh, sorry, I was just listening to some Bob Marley, a Jamaican icon. Um, it's an honor to be here today and to be joining you. This is a very important day for me and I'm happy to be sharing it with all of you. So, you've been living in the UK your whole life, correct? Uh, yes, I was born and raised here, so I've been living here for 25 years. I'm in fact a British citizen. Um, I must say that whenever I leave this country to go to Jamaica, my home country, it's always very, I can feel the difference between the both of them because you can, like, there's a difference in the culture, the food, the vibe there, and it's just, and the scenery, and it's just very different. But I loved living here my whole life because I consider this my home as well. Yeah. I can imagine. Has living here in the UK ever made you feel like an outsider? Um, no, not in the slightest. Uh, there's a big number of Jamaicans here, so I always, I can always relate to people, and I always feel welcome. However, in 2012, I really questioned whether I can really feel at home here or like an outsider because when the immigration laws changed, everything, my perception of this country changed. Um, Jamaicans that couldn't prove that they were British citizens were deported back to Jamaica or were laid off their jobs and um, even though the UK was the only home that they've ever known. Wow, was anyone you know affected by this absurd law? Um, my parents and my grandparents, they lost their jobs so we ended up being homeless and living on the streets for a few years. Um, my friend and her for for example, my friend and her whole family were deported back to Jamaica and I haven't seen her since. Oh, I'm so sorry you had to go through um, that at such a young age. No one should have to feel unsafe in their own country. Thankfully, the Windrush Task Force addressed the situation and found solutions for all the British citizens that were endangered by the law. Yeah, my family and I claim compensation uh, through the Windrush Compensation Scheme and we're finally able to afford a roof on top of our head and a warm meal every single day. And since then, Jamaicans are finally starting to feel at home again in this country uh, because they were given the documentation that proved that they were legally living here. Well, that's great. Thank you so much, Toya, for joining us today. Happy Independence Day to all Jamaicans. I hope this day brings you joy and happiness. Thank you so much for having me. Now let's go enjoy some jerk chicken at Fish, Wings and Tinks. Thank you.